fourth formula is return on total asset slash return on total resources so the formula is here npat upon average total assets into 100 so now you all know what npat means average total assets is equal to fixed assets plus intangible assets plus investments plus current assets okay i hope this is quite clear i'll show you in the balance sheet also once see applications of funds fixed assets all this then long term investment and and from working capital you have to just take current asset so then only you will get total asset or else if you take total funds employed so it would be the net that is current liabilities will be subtracted you have to just add the current liabilities and you will get your figure okay of total asset i hope this is quite clear so please firstly pause the video and copy this much few important ratios mm. these are all miscellaneous formulas so let's start with earnings per share the name is self explanatory eps the formula is npat divided by number of equity shares okay number of equity shares it's nothing not into 100 then the formula is dividend per shares which is known as dps the formula is dividend paid dividend paid divided by number of equity shares the formula is price earning ratio which we called as PE ratio simply for remembrance price upon earning price means market market price per share divided by earning per share so in the question it will be given either the market price will be given or the earning price will be given and PE ratio will be given you have to find either of the things that is either market per share or earning per share okay so from the three things two things will be given you have to find out one thing okay this is very easy you have to just remember the formulas dividend payout ratio the next formula dividend payout ratio here I don't need to explain anything because the explanation for all these things are given in the practice manual also I have seen so I'm not I'm not wasting time I'm just giving all the formulas which are very important you shouldn't skip this formulas dividend payout ratio the formula is DPS this dividend per share divided by EPS that is earning per share into okay then we'll see retention ratio retention ratio formula is 1 minus DPS EPS into 100 or simply 1 minus dividend dividend payout ratio okay so in the exam they ask this then you will automatically know this okay sixth formula is dividend yield ratio 
formula is DPS that is dividend per share upon market price per share into 100 you all please write it somewhere MPS means market price per share dividend yield ratio is DPS upon MPS into 100 and earning yield ratio is equal to EPS upon MPS into 100 so if you hear this word yield ratio yield ratio then simply the denominator will be MPS and since it is dividend it will come DPS and since it is earning it will come EPS over here ok I hope I made it quite simple to learn so firstly please pause the video and copy this much I hope you all have copied this much please pause the video and copy the remaining write over here miscellaneous formulas miscellaneous formulas sales formulas hardly four formulas and then we are done total asset turnover ratio the formula is sales upon average total assets average total assets you know what all you have to take so I'm not repeating it again here sales means net sales if you want you can write net also net sales it is all simple formula if you your total asset turnover ratio you have to take the numerator as the sales and the denominator whatever they have asked that is total asset if this uh, if if in the question they have already provided like this total asset turnover ratio is equal to 5 if they have written 5 like the directly 5 number it is given no percentage it is given then do not multiply with 100 if the percentage is given then only multiply with 100 so I'm just writing 100 over here so it is not uh, mandatory that you have to always keep this formula into 100 if the figure of total asset turnover is in numbers and not in percentage then you have to not put 100 over here I hope I made it quite clear to you all fixed asset turnover ratio is equal to sales my whatever whenever i write sales over here it simply means net sales okay net sales upon average fixed assets again the same logic what i told you over here in of 100 then third working capital turnover ratio same formula net sales upon average working capital for capital employed turnover ratio net sales upon average capital employed I hope this is quite clear this is all the formulas that you should know it is like it will this all formulas will help you to finally complete the missing figures of the balance sheet so you should know this formulas properly and similarly for this also in the exam they may directly ask calculate earning per share or they may ask calculate dividend per share so there is I don't find any logic that I should tell you right now but there are logics which I am hiding that is not needed for your IPCC level so please do not go in depth the things that you should know in depth that I have taught you all earlier so I am not teaching all that depth 
डेप्ट ओवर हियर बिकॉज मेनी अ टाइम्स ऑल गेट बोर्ड लिसनिंग टू ऑल दैट थिंग्स सो बेटर प्लीज पॉज द वीडियो एंड कॉपी दिस मच इट इज़ वेरी सिंपल फॉर्मूला फ्रॉम द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी आर सॉल्विंग द सम्स ना आई होप यू ऑल हैव कॉपी दिस मच